All right, first you want to do is actually turn off the light. Okay, pop this out. You like this underneath and push. Push it out. There it goes. Pops out. Basically, push right here in the back end of it when you're pushing from the side. Let's leave it there for now. Take this off by pushing the button on top and then pulling forward. So, push, pull. Pops right off. Okay. Now, this is probably the most difficult part because there's actually three clips, well, three points in here. Here, here, and here. So you have to use both hands, push it from the back, and pop it forward. There's also three on top. And it, it might sound like you're breaking it, but you gotta do some force. One moment. Yep, see here are the clips. It's probably better if you use this end, try to fish out this end first, and then kind of put a trim removal or something flat, kind of go along the side, and work your way in and out. Be careful then not to break the tips off. Take out the chef knob. Okay, remove cup holder. Interesting fact, this thing actually weighs a pound. Uh, remove this little cover. You might need something to peel it off. But I cheated and I did it ahead. Here you go. And now you have some screws to remove. And let me go ahead and do that. Alright, more bolts to remove. That one, that one, that one, that one. Next, remove this. Basically, pop underneath here. Kind of, you might have to move your seat to get to a better position. But you just, just pops right out. Pop up. There it goes. Yeah. Okay, this is probably another oh shit moment, but it'll probably pop when you do this first and work your way around. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, there you go. Now this one, you can remove it by pushing that. I need two hands. One moment. Okay, I couldn't pull the thing off the, that, so yeah, I unscrewed the two bolts. But whatever, you can do either or. Now I remove this, just slide it up slowly, be careful. There you go. Okay, make sure your E breaks up. Now you need to get rid of these two, these two more screws. Yeah, here. So to recap, these was removed. This, these two were removed. And these two was removed. And now you can almost lift it up. Just make sure this is also pushed out so when you pull it out, it doesn't rip off. Or you can be lazy and have it attached still. Just be careful not to bend or rip it. It's for your outlet. And you can literally push it out, but it's okay. Next step, easy, take these out. Up here, and there's more. One moment. Remove the pad now. More bolts to remove. One, two, three, and four.
Okay, now you can remove this metal part. Straight up. Oh yes, take this off. Squeeze it. Pinch. Push. God, I need two hands. Nope, got it. One hand. Yeah. Oh yeah. Push these down. Black tabs down. Now this our piece. Okay, now this is a very important part because this is actually the locking for your reverse or else when you're driving it's just going to be all stupid and you can't reverse. So how reverse works is the little collar you would lift it up and it lifts up the ledge. So notice, please notice where your thing is currently at because you have to put it back to this. So, ready? Remove these. Now probably the hardest part is the removal of the dust boot, which is that black thing right there. And try to reuse it, which is almost nearly impossible. But you just have to pry it open to get to a pin on this side. Good luck. Cool. I was able to t get the dust booth, booth, ah, boot off without ripping it. Now, here's the pin. It goes out. Click it from a uh, needle nose. Take this and click it out that way. Actually bleeding. Ah, fuck. Remember, it goes in like this, so you have to pull it around the hole. car in fifth gear and pop it through and it should go right through pop right out and there it is and now keep fishing it out it's out here's a quick comparison can't really tell yeah I guess you just have to take it off my bad but whatever it's easy to just slip right off good news it's out bad news my dust boot fell I'm gonna go fishing Okay, you take the OEM, this is a dust boot, peel it off, throw it in here. One moment. Ta-da! That was magic! Oh my god. Okay, somehow you're supposed to put the short shifter back, pop in this hole, and then put the pin back, and then somehow slide this in, magically in. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Okay, orientation of the short throw. Just like this. So the longer would be this side. If you go this way, and no, it's not gonna work. Just like this. Okay. Stick it in. After you lube it up, slide and pop it in. Syringe. Dr. Hong, will he be alright? Oh my god, I don't know. We just have to. Maybe we can rebuild him. Oh god, shit, it's everywhere. Stop. Oh, doctor, doctor. We need more. Just stop that everywhere. Oh shit. A hint is, is actually, if you have it lined up, your car was originally in fifth gear. If you put it to neutral, it will literally pop right in. Now the next step is to put back the pin. But before that, there's actually another little piece before the pin. Some type of washer for some reason, so. Washer, pin. Oh my god, I did it somehow. But I got the dust bit on. Yeah. It might take you forever. My hand actually hurts. Enough. I gotta cut myself from here. But you can do it. Okay, next is the... Putting back the reverse lock. You're gonna have that. And then you're gonna have this. And then use the screw provided. Um, don't do anything, don't tighten everything up because you have to make sure that this works first.
Okay, to quick recap, you have the dust boot installed first, kind of have it lined up to that. Hmm, it smells great. Um, and then you have the washer, and then you have the pin. And now the reverse locking. I'm on reverse. You should ideally try to drive your car like this first, make sure everything's okay before you put everything back. Next. Make sure all the little black plastic pieces pop through the hole. And then you also have one more line on the other side to pop it in. There you go. It actually popped. Wow. Now the black piece with a little foam thing in the jigger. There we go. Cushy. These white ones, one up here, one on top. Reinstall those. Next, put this back together. Just drop it in. Then this, put that back in. And put this back together. Ooh, you be popping, popping. Yeah. Shifter. Pop, pop, yeah, pop, and then these, that's those two here, I already did those two, and now these two. Recap, one, two, there's another one, two here, and then one, two, right there. You should have four screws left over, this is from the reverse lock, so don't be worried, because I switched the other one. Now you do this, and then you do this. And then your plastic piece, you shove it back in here. There. That. I should wait. You should not do that first. You should put this back. I should snap right in. Snap. Okay. And now you're that back in. Okay. Two more steps. You gotta. Make sure you don't mess up the thread or else you get sad face. Look at that, look at that. It's like on drugs. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yeah, no, no. Okay, last modification. Yeah, yeah. Complete. Stupid Maryland weather. Shout out to Chris from Money Shift Racing. He actually ran a free carpool short throw on his Facebook page, and I won. Thank you. Also, thank you, Carpool, for making such an awesome product. For more information and links, please check out the description below. Thanks.